I am visiting the French chapter in a very sunny day <laughs> after my, my participation in the OECD conference here in Paris. And uh, we were discussing the issues that we are working as a movement all over the world for many, many years. We are 25 this year as Transparency International. And what's important is that we have to be um, clear that we have done a lot of things in these 25 years, both at the global and at the national level with the chapters. And now we have to be aware of the problems forward and to be open to, uh, to discover what are the new challenges in terms of corruption, particularly those arising from the use of new technologies. New technologies are presented by some uh, persons as the silver bullet that will solve all the problems of corruption. And that's not really so. Uh, technology offers tools that are very useful, for instance, in terms of land register, security, or um, in access to information and sharing information. But there are problems uh, that are, or, or risks, that these new technologies present, particularly in terms of the financial movement uh, of, of the country, the architecture of the financial sector, uh, that uh, we should be ready to, uh, to tackle. And uh, the other area of risk that new technologies present uh, is related to elections. So we are having now a, a great scandal uh, on terms of access to the databases and used, uh, the use of this information and the problem of privacy and liberty of voters and electors and citizens. And uh, the other area that I'm very interested in uh, is that of the governance of algorithms. In our society, algorithms are becoming the way of taking decisions. And uh, this algocracy, the, this government by algorithms, has lots of risks uh, in terms of corruption, rule of law, and the protection of, of transparency and integrity. So we should be working on that, which will be the next uh, challenges.